a little more Frisbee theory. So we've already talked about our zone a little bit and another option that we will run when we are running a normal force middle zone is an option to trap when we're on the sideline. We'll normally only run that option within when we are within about three yards of the sideline. Um, so I drew this out to kind of help symbolize. Red is offense going this way, um, blue is defense. So if the disc is here in the middle of the field, we have the one mark who's, who's on the apex, um, who's always close to the mark, and then your off mark. Um, the short deep very intentionally has to be between the apex and the off mark because this off mark is looking for opportunity for a lazy throw here to, to jump on that. Um, two points for this video is the short deep's placement. Um, a lot of times this person who's the off mark, like I said, will look to, to jump the lane as the throw comes to here. Um, and they'll, they'll jump the lane and go a little wider, making a bigger hole. And what often happens is this player here tends to counter it by just taking a step this direction, and then the throw comes right there, and we can't do anything about it. So to stop that, the short deep needs to feel like they're on a bungee cord connected to the, eight, the off mark. And so if the off mark bites the lane, this short deep has to scooch over, not necessarily wide, but scooch over a little bit. Um, to help cover that for a second, and then they both come right back. Like this, this person here should never stay there. If they bite the lane, they come right back to their spot. So because we can't leave this open lane here in the middle open very long either. So um, quick, like flashes in the lane, come back. Um, so that's one point of this video. The other point is running that trap option. So let's just say that the disc, uh, here's your defense, the disc dumped and it swung and it got all the way to here. As it's swinging, the off mark is going to go mark, but instead of forcing back to the middle like normal, we normally force to the middle, this person will yell trap, and um, they'll go ahead and take, and they're, they're just no dump. That's their job. The apex stays the apex. They run over and come to here. And then this person on the far side, presumably this handler has already moved over. So presumably this handler is now here, ready for that dump option. And that person probably moved over to here a little bit. So it looks something like that. But as it's moving, that, that last person in the cup just gets right here. And there's no easy dump, no, no easy throw to here. That person, if, if this throw happens over here, while that's happening simultaneously, this wing has bitten way in to like here. Or the short deep can do the same and bite in over to here a little bit. Um, because we're trying to get them to throw that really lofty, difficult throw over to here, or to here, or to here, to allow these wings and short deeps to have opportunity at it. But for the focus of this video and what the uh, cup's job is, um, once we yell trap, the, the off mark becomes the mark, forcing to a sideline, the apex stays the apex, and their main job is no throw goes off between here, and then this person stays on top. Now if this handler runs strike, let them go, because presumably they'll run right into the short deep. Here's the wing in the short deep. So if they run strike, let them go, and then just take the next dump who's about to fill their spot. The one goes here, the other one comes here. That person who is guarding that dump space guards the area until that person gets there. That's pretty much it. Um, it has to be done on the fly, and it's something that's just takes a little practice to run. Um, but yeah, those are the two main points, is that short deep has to move over and feel like they're connected on a bungee to the off mark in the cup so that when the off mark flash the, flashes the lane or jumps the lane, the short deep covers with them and then goes right back. And then that option for when we're forcing middle and we get to a sideline, we all of a sudden are trapping the sideline and they have no dump option. It's just a way to keep offenses um, from getting into too much of a rhythm. Uh, like they're, and, and it just usually will throw them and give us a quick turn here and there. So if we run that well, it's actually very stifling. Um, and I think it will serve us pretty well uh, going into uh, future tournaments. So anyway, I hope that's helpful. Um, let me know if you have questions.